Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. I remember when, uh, when we was younger, we just got our college degrees. We had a false sense, a false perception of reality when it comes to once you get a college education. Yeah. You think the world belongs to you now. Yeah, you think it's going to. I, I got that bachelor's degree. I was like, man, things are going to start lining up for me. Uh, I went to school, <laughs> got this degree. I got a, a bachelor's degree in accounting and finance. Man, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, man, I'm gonna make something out of myself. <laughs> it's all out, a lie. Yeah, then you go out there and pop for the jobs. We'll start you off at nine fifty, and I'm like, bitch. <laughs> I got a college degree here. I paid sixty thousand dollars for it too. Yeah. But you ain't got no experience. Well, my college degree is my experience. No, it doesn't work like that. Man, you know what? I'm halfway through my masters. I'm dropping out. <laughs> I dropped out. Remember, I was, I was, I almost, I was halfway through okay. my masters. Right? Yeah, the, the key to life is about what you know and who you know. Yeah. And More often than not, is who you know. You can always learn what yeah. you need to know yeah. through somebody who you know. If you don't know anybody, like these sore ass Negroes out here, you ain't gonna mount shit. Man, what you talking about? That's man? why black people they they don't build healthy relationships. A lot of them don't. Just black people, huh? Yeah, white people. That's the attribute all races. Um, what? White that's... people build ignorance is, is an attribute found in all races. Not yeah, that's true. People. You make it sound like black people are just a bumbling, fumbling moron. <laughs> 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 Who is you, Jesse Lee Peterson? Today? They are they, black people in uh in the financial turmoil that they in is because they're stupid than everybody else. No, it's not stupid. It's called ignorance. No, it ain't. No, it's stupid. Stupid ignorance is when you don't have all the information. Right? Stupid is when you ha have all the information and you still stupid. <laughs> Black people get everything white people got. You got the same. You Some of us start start off in front of most of other people. I yeah. mean, you, you have a head start, but look where I mean, you came from. Yeah. It's because we're not stupid. Yeah. We can, uh, we can assimilate new information. Yeah. Right? We can yeah. conform and, to society. And apply it. Yeah. And, and tell them, and speak on it, preach to them. I've lost the words. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not saying black people are, yeah, I'm saying that they are stupid. Kevin, no, they, hey, Keith, man, what I tell you about this, man? I, I tell you right before we start the video, take it easy on the Negro. <laughs> We Yo, three minutes in the video. You over here roasting me. <laughs> no, man. Black people need this tough love, man. It's tough love. All right, Kevin. Hey, look how. Let me say this. Let me go. Look how tough the Chinese, the Taiwanese, the Japanese, the Hindanese <laughs> is tough on their kids. Yeah. Yeah. Especially point. Chinese and Japanese, man. Good point, man. You bring home a seat, they slap the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Black kids come home? Dang. Man, you dumbass nigga. <laughs> you dumb just like your stupid mama. <laughs> Get out of my face. I got a game to watch. <laughs> <laughs> the Cowboys and the Redskins <laughs> playing. <man. laughs> I'm just saying, man, I, you can't no longer. I mean, you just look at FBI, FBI statistics. Okay, I'm, right? done, I'm done. I'm done. No, I look at it. Hey, Kevin, I'm not talking about. There's plenty of poll folks. That's not black, and they don't do the things that. I mean, our culture is is. It's the culture within the black community. Okay, can we stop talking about black people? Because I'm tired. I'm sick of them anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about this white girl. Bike this white girl, just finished college and go easy on her. She's white. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the video. I know I'm probably just being so dramatic and annoying. But this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college, and I'm in person, and I'm commuting in the city, and it takes me fucking forever to get there. There's no way I'm gonna be able to afford living in the city right now, so that's off the table. Like fucking duh. If I was able to walk to work, and it, it'd be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me like I leave here, like I get on the train at 7:30, and I don't get home till like 6:15 earliest, and then like I don't have time to do anything. I don't. I want to shower eat my dinner and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook by dinner either. Like, I don't have energy to work out. Like, that's out the window. Like, I'm so upset. Oh, my God. 
had nothing to do with my job at all, but just, like, the 9 to 5 schedule in general is crazy. Being in the office 9 to 5, like, if it was remote, you get off at 5, and you're home, and everything's fine. But, like, I'm not home. It takes me long to get home, and, like, like people that drive to the office, like, it doesn't, you don't get off at 5. And I know it could be worse. I know I could be working longer, but, like, I literally get off, it's pitch black. Like, I don't have energy. How do you have friends? Like, how do you have time to, like, meet, like, a guy I don't know like how do you have time for like dating like I don't have time for anything and I'm like so stressed out and I'm also getting my period so that's why I'm all emotional but like what am I so dramatic it's fine you start bleeding you start bleeding to get all emotional man you know what I agree with everything she just said man. Yeah, when, when women start bleeding <laughs> I, I think you should put in this law when you're on your period you can't vote you're too um you're too emotional <laughs> Live to go vote for a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I agree with a lot of things she said, but you can't victimize yourself like that. Man, you're, what you experience, everybody goes through that. Yeah. You need to find a better job. Yeah. You or need start to start working for yourself. Yeah, you need to find a job that works best for you. I remember uh, I had a, a nine to five, right? Yeah, everything took me two hours to get to work because of traffic, but the damn job was like five minute walk down the road. <laughs> <laughs> And then you get off work, and then you gotta go through that same shit, right? You get home, damn kids crying, wife nagging at you, right? Talk about you fall we ain't asleep. got no money. Talking about we ain't got no money. I said, bitch, I'm doing all I can. <laughs> right? I mean, I totally understand everything you're saying. But I that's... remember when I was, we was going to school, I wanted to become a CPA or a possible enrolled agent with the RAS. I wanted to do something, but I, then finally I said, you know what? If I get a CPA, I'm working for somebody. They call in the shots. You're not self-employed. Your client is still calling the shots. And then when you work for somebody, when you go in for a 95, you pretty much, man, you crazy as hell, woman, for calling me. Guess what I'm going to do to her when I get home? I told that woman to stop calling hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. Anyway. Anyway. Hey, let right? me do some talking. Anyway. Let me do some talking. Me and Keith always had this, um, this, we always wanted to be self-employed. You know, that's why we want to be CPA, blah, 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 blah. So we started YouTube. Thank God everything worked out. I ain't got to go clock in. I don't have to drive three hours to get to my job and drive back. And We found I, what works for us. You got to find what works yeah. best for you. Man, I'm tired of this shit, man. <laughs> yeah, let me put it on solid. You need to tell her, man, this is a professional uh, This is a professional establishment we got going here. I, she got to be calling during I, production. I do, man, but these damn immigrants, they don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Damn immigrants, man. You can't live with them. You can't live without them. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, I feel your pain. I mean, you just got to find what works for you. It's like everybody yeah. goes through that. Yeah. You just yeah. got to, you got, well, I'm going to say it again. You got to find what works <laughs> best for you. Yeah. You, you, you pretty, though. Yeah. You, you good looking girl. I'm sure you I don't, know. Man, sure I don't think it's going to work out. For you me. haven't caught on. You don't need to work. <laughs> the way you look. You can't hey, get, get a, a man. Wait you a get man. a doctor, a lawyer. This woman don't have to work. What is wrong with her? Women like that don't work. Like what? Women like, like her. You don't. Hey, Kevin, this ain't the Stone Age. Women want to do, they want a career. They just want to get packed and cream pied and make I didn't say all that. Almost. But a woman like that, she really doesn't have to work. Man, she got dreams. Dreams of what? To, uh, having a career. That's what? That's bullshit. Man, you crazy as hell. What's wrong with you? You sound like a damn progressive. <laughs> <laughs> no, look what we, we self employed. You can only, like, I find hey, it. You know what? You've done enough talking. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not, I'm not knocking a nine to five, but man, true freedom and true happiness and financial freedom can only be found being self-employed. When you work for somebody else, man, yeah, you can get a job that pays you great, but man, true freedom is when you self-employed, you set your own set, you set your own schedule. Until you can do that, well, you can. A lot of people don't want to be self-employed. They don't want responsibility. Hey, so let me do some talking. But there you again, find what works for you. <laughs> Easier said than done. Yeah. Damn good show. You be a little white girl. <laughs> pretty little lips, pretty eyes. Yeah. Hey, we got a new giveaway going. Big blue eyes. <laughs> Looking up at you. <laughs>
We got you. What? You don't want to work no more? <laughs> All you got to do is take care of daddy. <laughs> Hey man, we got a new giveaway going. Oh man. We give away a full Bronco at 10,000 in cash. This is no ordinary Bronco. It's got 35,000 upgrades to the show truck out in Vegas. The end of the win. Go to officialhogstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically. End of the win. Hey.